Hello, what's good? Welcome to CSC Sports. I'm your host, Jay Howard. Before we get started, I am on Twitter now at jhoward.tv. That's J A Y Howard, H O W R D. Dot TV. That's right. I finally got a Twitter page, Twitter account for all the people that's been asking me, Jay, do you have a Twitter? I finally have one. Don't know how to use it. I'm going to figure it out. It's at jhoward.tv. My website is jhoward.tv to go there and check it out. Moving on. For all you boxing fans out there, I know a lot of you guys play the boxing video games and you watch boxing and you say, damn, what if? I got a great what if question for you guys. Who would win? Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali. That's right. Only Mike Tyson versus the greatest of all times, Muhammad Ali. Well, when we think about this dream matchup, let's look at a couple of factors. Mike Tyson, 58 fights, wins 50 wins in his career, wins by knockout 44, losses 6, draws 0, no contest 2. Mike Tyson has a slew of belts and titles. He, the WBA, IBF, WBC, he held all three of those at one time. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson is a dog, a flat out dog, a very aggressive flat out dog. Then when we move over to the greatest, Muhammad Ali, 60 fights, 56 wins, 37 KOs, um, five losses, draw zero, no contest, zero. Muhammad Ali, come on, man. I you can you can see the statistics on Muhammad Ali. I don't have to even talk about him. This man is a dog and a legend, and he personified boxing to the bone. Flat out, Muhammad Ali is the greatest. When we look at the two, who wins though? Put in your thinking caps. Now let's break down the styles. Both of them, both both of these boxers are great boxers in their own right and in their own generation. They did their things right. Let's start with Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, in my opinion, Mike Tyson, his strength was intimidation and strength. Mike Tyson was a boxer to me that when you stepped into the ring with him, the first three rounds belonged to him by default because his anticipation and his introduction. Once the bell rings, Mike Tyson is like an animal coming to rip your head off. That was the introduction of Mike Tyson, and that's what made Mike Tyson so invincible. Mike Tyson has lost to some notables. He has lost to Buster Douglas, Evander Holyfield twice, and Lennox Lewis. There's some other guys he lost to, too, but it doesn't matter. Those are the notable guys he lost to. And they survived more than the third round. So, to me, that kind of, like, shows you where Mike Tyson's weaknesses lie. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson could come out, he's going to tear your head off. Most people just couldn't withstand those first three rounds. He was coming to knock your head to Pluto. Like, seriously, knock it off the neck like a home run. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson, in my opinion, it, it, it was it was kind of like real freakish. Like, when we think about LeBron James and Blake Griffin, how freakish they are on air sports and Albert Pujols. Mike Tyson was freakish as a boxer. You know what I mean? To get a guy with that type of stature and that type of strength and that type of intimidation was phenomenal. Moving over to the greatest, Muhammad Ali. What is his strength? Muhammad Ali was savvy, intelligent, a great boxer, had all the moves. He had every type of punch a boxer needed in his arsenal. Muhammad Ali, when you call him the greatest, it's not flukish to call him the greatest. Like, you know, sometimes things be a fluke. You can call a guy the greatest because he won two fights. Muhammad Ali put in work. But Muhammad Ali also lost to some notables. Ken Norton. He lost to uh, Leon Spinks, Larry Holmes, Trevor Burbick, and Joe Frazier. Muhammad Ali has lost some fights in his time. But we look at Muhammad Ali with the rope of dope and Muhammad Ali, being, Muhammad Ali being able to take a punch like he can. You know what I mean? Can Mike Tyson beat him? You got a guy that can take a punch. You got a guy that can throw a vicious punch. Who do you take? Now, before we close out, I want you guys to really think about this. You got a guy that can throw a vicious punch. And you got a guy that can take a vicious punch. Who do you take? I take, drum roll please. I take Muhammad Ali. That's right, I take Muhammad Ali. I don't think Mike Tyson had a chance against Muhammad Ali. 
this is all in fun, you know what I mean? This is a great episode. You know, we talk about this stuff in barbershops and stuff like that. But I think Muhammad Ali is too much for Mike Tyson. I think he's a more skilled boxer than Mike Tyson. I think that he can take Mike Tyson's punches. You know what I mean? And I don't think he's intimidated by Mike Tyson. See that? Mike Tyson battle was won by his opponent's fear. You know what I mean? More than anything. Now, let alone him getting his hands on you can finish you off. But Mike Tyson, a lot of his fights, especially in his heyday, were won from intimidation. So I'm going to take Muhammad Ali. I want to know who you guys will take Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson to next time from CSC Sports. I'm your host, Jay Howard, and I'm out. Peace.